All right, I'm going to talk about Gantt charts. Uh, you can see right here I already have a little table set up. Uh, right here in the far left column I have the job description. I just put job 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, here the start date. This is the date the job starts. This is the number of days I completed on the job. This is how many days I have remaining on the job. And these are the number of days the job lasts. And you can see each of these will add up to the duration. Uh, now for days remaining, this is just a formula. It's uh, the duration minus the completed days, E2 minus C2. And this one, it would be E3 minus C3. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our chart. So we'll hit the chart icon on the toolbar. And you can see here it's column is selected, but we want to go to a bar chart and we want to stack. So we'll hit next and now for our data range. For our data range, we want to select columns A, B, C, and D. We're not going to select column E. And we have data series and column. First row is labeled, first column is labeled. And I'll hit next. Hit next again. And then we'll need a title for the chart so we can put a uh, job schedule. Uh, for the x-axis now, the x-axis is reversed. Uh, it's actually the y-axis. So it's, it's the one containing job 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it's running up and down. I move this out of the way you can see see the job one two three four and five that's the x-axis so we'll name that uh, job description and for the y-axis we'll name that uh, well let's name it days and you can name it whatever you want and then let's just take off the legend we'll tell it not to display the legend and we'll hit finish okay so now we need to do a little bit of formatting here now you can see that the y-axis does not have the dates on it so what we want to do is we come to the y-axis okay and if your charts not selected all we need to do is double click on it and we right click on the y-axis we hit object properties and let's go over here to numbers uncheck source format and go to date and I'm just gonna leave it in this format you can choose any format you want and so that takes care of that and let's go to the scale uh, well let's go ahead and hit OK so you can see how the dates change I don't know if you can see that 6108 that's when it starts uh, and 12210 January 22nd 2010 is the last date so maybe I want to modify these a little bit and get them a little bit closer to the times of my dates and I can do that I just right click on object properties and I go to scale and uncheck automatic my first date is 12509 so maybe I'll name it 12509 one one oh nine do the first of the month and the maximum my latest date is nine twenty two oh nine so maybe name it ten one oh nine and the major intervals we can change that to fifty axis at and we can change that to the first okay of two thousand nine and we hit okay okay so you can see it does it a little bit better okay now what we want to do is is the blue here okay the blue here we want to get rid of that blue area so we go to uh, we click on the blue area and it'll put these green dots here we right click on it go to object properties and for borders we're going to put invisible on the style for area we're going to put none okay and we hit OK now we have you can see that how it 
it modifies it a little bit now and, and you can see that here all we can see is the orange so maybe we need to increase this a little bit because it does start here but the, the uh, it goes for 50 days so let's change the scale on the y-axis but you can see there now let's let's see what happens when we change it so we'll change the maximum date to maybe let's try 11 1 09 okay and we do have some uh, we got orange there but you can see it doesn't show any yellow so let's let's change it even more on the maximum date let's go to 12 1 09 and hit OK. Now we've taken it all in. So you might want to be careful when you do that. Okay. And like I said, you can change these colors to whatever you want. Uh, we can go to object properties, uh, area, and for color, see we have we have orange. So if we want to, we can change that to maybe green. That means we're working on the job, and we can actually uh, reduce, change the transparency on it. And we can click on the yellow, go to op, right click on the yellow, uh, change transparency. We can even make it go up some, whoop, I mean down, so it's not so transparent. Uh, go to area, and we can even change that color to red. So you can see the green lets you know how many days you've completed on the job and the red lets you know how many days remaining okay and the whole uh, square both the green and red combined is the duration that's the 30 days uh, and we can and I don't know this right here really isn't a big deal but we can go over here and right click on the y-axis and go to labels and we can change that uh, try 300 see what that looks like and kind of slants it a little bit but uh, that's a Gantt chart let me see if I can widen it up some so see you can see it a little bit better now uh, and that's what it does uh, so it, it comes in handy and I've also I've also got an exam here's another example this one doesn't do like the other one see this one shows you the completed days remaining days but this one just shows you the duration of each one okay it doesn't keep up with how many days you have left and if you and you can get a you can download this workbook it's on my website uh, my websites in the bottom right hand corner you can take a look at that I hope this tutorial was help was helpful thank you